All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here, and I'm bringing you my solo reaction for the trailer, the official trailer for Runway 34. Now, I believe there was a teaser that got released for this film. I didn't get around to reacting to that, but I am excited to react to this trailer. It's getting a lot of buzz right now. It just got dropped several hours ago. This is starring Amina Bacham, right? I feel like he's been in quite a few film, at least trailers the last few months, which is great to see. It's got A.J. Devon, produced by A.J. Devon. So this is like definitely his baby right here, even on his channel, for crying out loud. Um, A.J. Devon Films, with a double F. It's also got Raquel Preet. And this is coming out April 29th, 2022. So more than a month away, we get the official trailer with more than a month. I'm not sure if that means that they're more excited for this film. They got more um, faith in it because they're letting this trailer come out and then letting fans get excited and marinate and get their tickets beforehand for the next five weeks or so. But I'm excited to check this out. I don't know too much about it. Like I said, I did not watch the teaser. It's an upcoming Indian thriller directed also by AJ Dev. I did not realize that. So this definitely is his baby. And it's inspired by the true story of the Jet Airways Doha Kochi flight. This incident took place in 2015 when the flight had a narrow escape after facing difficulties to land at the Kochi International Airport due to bad weather and unclear visibility. That reminds me a lot of the film um, Sully, right? Based on the true life story of Captain Sully that was able to land the plane on the Hudson River in New York. Um, also had some complications with that plane. And the film delved into some other things. Not going to compare the two. This is a different incident. But that's pretty interesting how, um, you know, these type of events happen quite a bit or at least more than you want them to. But I'm excited to check this out. If you're excited for my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next, whether it's a song or a trailer or whatever it is. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some AJ Devin looking like James Bond here right now. No smoking here. <laughs> okay, it's like a typical kid answer right there. I didn't lie to you. Hi, Captain. It's an honor to fly with you today. Request for clearance. Beautifully shot. Company ko sirf do cheezon se farak padta hai. Are you safe? Are you legal? Are you legal? What does that mean? Grace for impact. Ye aadmi musibat mein chhodkar bhagne walon mein se nahi hai. Very similar. Anya, look at me. I need you right now, Tanya. Kya ye pilot phir se yahan landing attempt karna chahta hai? Reverse is normal. Also reminds me of a flight with Denzel Washington where he drinking problem. Bada sir teen cheeze kar sakte. Galti ko manna, galti se sikhna aur dobara us galti ko na karna. Yeah. Nara and Vedant ko underestimate karne ki galti mat karna. Delivery boy ka kaam hota hai saman deliver karna. Aur ek bar saman deliver ho gaya to he is not responsible. Got him too. Against the rules. और आप तो रूल्स को बहुत फॉलो करते हैं। पानी को ऐसे छेड़ो कि मछलियां घबरा जाए अपने शब्द और समय को बहुत ही सोच समझ कर खर्चे लौट कर नहीं आते कभी उस जगह मत जाना। सोच तुमसे पहले पहुंच जाए मैं चीजें कभी भूलता नहीं आई है फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी आपके शब्द आपके एक्शन से मेल नहीं कर रहे और आपके एक्शन आपके शब्दों के साथ मेल नहीं कर रहे नहीं करोगे ना तो दुनिया में कोई भी तुम पर यकीन नहीं करेगा उन्हें भी कुछ नहीं दिखाई दे रहा था क्योंकि उनकी आंखें भी तुम्हारी अंकल एविएशन मिनिस्टर जो दायरा है सच वही छुपा होता 
Oh, wow. The thin line between the what and the how. That's true. I wonder how many films he's directed. I did not realize that he enjoyed dabbling in directing. The thin line between the, the what and the how is where the truth lies. That's a great line. That is a fantastic line. I'm curious. I want to look it up. How many films has A.J. Devon directed? Because I didn't realize that he liked to to direct here and there. And I think that's that's really awesome. I love it when actors love the craft so much they want to be able to learn as much about it as possible. And they like to dabble. I'm seeing... Okay, so he directed... Uh, his first film, it looks like, his directorial debut is Umi Arham. And then he directed Chevet. Okay, I didn't realize that. I remember reacting to that trailer. And then this film. So this is his third directorial um, project that I can see right here, if this information is correct. And I think that's really awesome. This trailer, it looks really, really good. This trailer looks good and makes the movie look really, really good. Sometimes you could have trailers look make the movie look completely different, completely different movie, not as good as it should be, all this kind of stuff. This makes it look really good. And it looked, there's so many layers to it. And this is also based on a true story. And that makes it even more interesting because you can still take liberties with it, but you can't take as many liberties because you want to be as, you know, close to the source material as possible. But again, this reminds me of Sully and Flight, combination of the two. And with, with Flight, you have Denzel Washington who has a drinking problem. And he's also a pilot. And Oh, I can't remember. I think he does something similar like this where he's like a hero, but it's like, well, maybe it's your problem because you weren't 100%, you know, cognitive, so to speak. And so this seems like it has that, but it also has other things that are diving into his character. He's trying to maybe self-reflective, but he's also a little arrogant at the same time. I'm going to botch him. Looks like he's really, really bringing it. He's getting me vibes of pink with him in that lawyer role and him uh, being hard-hitting. Also, um, a little bit of, oh, Topsy Panu. What's the other film they were in together? Uh, I can't think of it right now. I can't think of it right now. But uh, that was a great film, too. Kind of his, his vibe as the character he played in those two movies reminds me of the character he's playing right here. Looks really good. Um, these types of films where you have, based on a true story, you involve it with something as dangerous as being it, drive, flying an airplane, you got people's lives in, at stake, and they're in your hands and you're doing this and then something happens and it seems like they're able to recover it. But if something bad happens, if someone did die or people did die, they're going to look to blame somebody. They've got to, right? To prevent protecting the lawsuits and this or that. And so this look is going to go fully dive into it. Great looking film. Let me know what you think about it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Share with me what you're thinking about it. And until next time, adios. Here we go. Boy Reviews!